Let's have a look at the next question. Read the question well. The question says, Anil can paint a house in 12 days, while B. Barun can paint the same house in 16 days. A, B and C undertake to paint the house for Rs. 24,000 and three of them gets the work done in 6 days. If C is paid in the proportion of the work done by him, then what is the amount received by Chandu? Now, if Anil can do the entire work in 12 days, the proportion of work done by Anil in one day will be 1 upon 12. Similarly for B, it will be 1 upon 16. And for C, you can assume it to be as X days, so total will be 1 upon X. Now together they are able to do the work in 6 days. So if all of them are working together, one sixth of the work should be done in each day. Now if you just add them, it says 1 upon 12 plus 1 upon 16 plus 1 upon X should be equal to 1 upon 6. So if you have to find what is Chandu for, Chandu's proportion of work, it's going to be 1 by 6 minus 1 by 12, 1 upon minus 1 upon 16. 6, 12 and 16, possibly I can take 1 by 2 common out. This will be 1 by 3, 1 by 6, 1 by 8. Again taking 1 by 2 out, the LCM of 3, 6 and 8 will become how much? Will suddenly become 24. Now 3, 8s are will give you 24. 6, 4s are will give you 24. And 8, 3s are will be 24. 4 plus 3 is 7. 8 minus 7 is 1. So it is 1 by 2, 1 upon 24. Which is 1 by X is coming out to be as 1 upon 48. So X is taking 48. Now let's say the proportion of work will be how much? This is 1 by C. Right? So the proportion of work done by each day will be 1 upon 12 by A versus 1 by 16 by B versus 1 by 48 by C. So now take the LCM. The LCM certainly will be 48. You have got 12 fourths as 48, 16 threes as 48 and this is 1. So the proportion of money which will be distributed across A, B and C will also be in the ratio of 4 ratio 3 to 1. The amount which will be received by C will be 1 upon 4 plus 3 plus 7, which is 1 eighth of the amount of 24,000. And this value will come out to be as 3,000 as the final answer. I hope this is clear to everyone.